Greetings, esteemed students. I am honored to introduce myself as your new chemistry facilitator, Ms. Laura Muhammad. It gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to share my passion and knowledge of this fascinating subject with you all. As an educator, I firmly believe that learning should be both engaging and enjoyable, and I am committed to creating an environment that fosters these ideals. I aim to instill a profound appreciation for chemistry and to help you all succeed. I look forward to getting to know you and working with you to make this pr productive and fulfilling academic year. Let us embark on this journey of discovery and learning with enthusiasm and dedication. The objectives for this PowerPoint slide is to cover the course framework, to go over the modern American system assessment criteria, to cover the AP chemistry test components, and finally, to go over the AP resources and support you have on the AP classroom. AP chemistry is an introductory college level chemistry course. Students cultivate their understanding of chemistry through inquiry-based lab investigations as they explore the big ideas, which are scale, proportion, quantity, structure, properties of substances, transformation, and finally, energy. The course content is organized into commonly taught units. The units have been arranged logically and frequently found in many courses and textbooks. The course framework includes the following units. Unit 1, Atomic Structure and Properties. Unit 2, Molecular and Ionic Compound Structure and Properties. Unit 3, Intermolecular Forces and Properties. Unit 4, Chemical Reactions. Unit 5, Kinetics. Unit 6, Thermodynamics. Unit 7, Equilibrium. Unit 8, Acids and Bases. And finally, Unit 9, Applications of Thermodynamics. Starting with the 22-23 school year, a scientific or graphing calculator is recommended for both sections of this exam. So please have your calculators in all classes. The Modern American School Assessment Criteria focuses on the following. The first and second assessments are worth 35% of the overall grade. The end of semester exam is worth 30%. The third and fourth assessments are worth 35% of the overall grade. And finally, the end of semester exam is worth 30% of the overall grade. According to the current modern American school grading system, an A overall grade achieving 90 to 94% of the perfect score describes a proficient performance. An A star overall grade reaching 95 to 100% of the ideal score represents an advanced performance. Assessments 1 and 2 for the first semester overall grade includes tests and quizzes. 20% of the overall grade lab work hands-on activities, participation in class, homework, and ACT practice is worth another 15% of the overall grade. The end of semester exam, which is worth 30% of the overall grade, will be assessed in one complete exam. The exact breakdown applies to the second semester.
This slide shows the nine units in AP Chemistry and their weighting on the multiple choice section of the AP exam. 79% of the exam weight is on most of the units. Unit 1, Atomic Structure and Properties. Unit 2, Molecular and Ionic Compound Structure and Properties. Unit 4, Chemical Reactions. Unit 5, Kinetics. Unit 6, Thermodynamics. Unit 7, Equilibrium. Unit 9, Applications of Thermodynamics. 18 to 22 percent of the exam weight which is the majority of the exam weight is on unit 3 which is intermolecular forces and properties 11 to 15 percent of the exam weight is on unit 8 which is acids and bases to get a college level equivalence of an a you need to score a 5 on the AP exam. For further AP resources and support, we will use the AP Classroom, which is a dedicated online platform designed to support teachers and students throughout the AP experience. This platform provides various powerful resources and tools to offer year-long supports and enables students to receive meaningful feedback on their progress. You need to be familiar with the unit guides, personal progress checks, and the progress dashboard. The unit guide shows planning guides that outline all required course content and skills, which is organized into commonly taught units. Each unit guide suggests sequence and pacing of content, scaffolds skills instructions across units, organizes content into topics, and provides tips on taking the AP exam. The personal progress checks formative AP questions for every unit, provides feedback to students on areas where they need to focus. This is available online. Personal progress check measures knowledge and skills throughout multiple choice questions with rationale to explain correct and incorrect answers. The free response questions with scoring information. The progress dashboard allows teachers to review class and individual students' progress throughout the year. Teachers can view class trends and see where students struggle with content and skills that will be assessed on the AP exam. Students can view their own progress over time and improve their performance before the AP exam. I would just like to remind you that education is the passport to the future for tomorrow and this belongs to people who prepare for it today. So on that note, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for your attentive listening during this introduction. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the new academic year and I wish you all the best as you embark on this journey. Should you have any questions or concerns throughout the year, please do not hesitate to contact me via email that is shown on this slide. I am always here to support you and to help you achieve your academic goals. Finally, I look forward to a successful and productive year ahead. Have a lovely day, everyone.